Okay. Aloha, aloha, aloha. Welcome. Thank you for coming to today's live stream. Today is Wednesday. I want to say it's the 28th of September, but some days I'm just not paying close enough attention. Today is day eight of the 10 days of the 10 Das. And today is on greatest gratitude. So thank you all for those who have patiently waited for me. I started about five minutes late today, got stuck in town and uh, realized just how fast I could set up the live stream. Was able to set it up in less than five minutes. So hopefully the cell phone signal connects and it's nice and strong. And I see we have Gunu uh, Shapuri, which has joined us. Welcome Gunu, welcome Kristen. Thank you for your postings that I would be a little bit late today. And I see Kristen Strachan has joined us as well. <coughs> um, lots of opportunity for gratitude. It shows up almost every day. One of the people that I'm most grateful for with this subject matter is actually Master Marilyn Smith. She was one of my very first teachers when I started training uh, underneath Dr. and Master Shah's wisdom and teachings. And Master Marilyn Smith grew up and is still an ordained uh, nun. And she, you know, she reports to the, to the nun masters above her, uh, but she is also a, a master in Dr. and Master Shah's organization. She wrote a book on the subject of gratitude. And truly the wisdom in there is, is beyond measure. And more so than the book, when you're around Master Marilyn, she teaches a very simple teaching, which is every moment is an opportunity for gratitude. I have seen her when something very unpleasant is, is directly connected to her, and she instantly looks for whatever that silver lining is. Well, it's an opportunity to generate a little more income, so I don't have this problem. Well, it's an opportunity to clear this blockage. You know, and if it was breast cancer, which I've never known her to have, she would say something like, well, it's an opportunity to clear this spiritual debt and to ask all those souls that have reminded me of my suffering to others to help clear them and offer my forgiveness. This is a perspective on gratitude, no matter how it faces us. That's just a good example of a living person who lives what they speak about. So um, thank you all for your patience. I know I'm a little bit late. So I want to uh, acknowledge and welcome Kathy Schneider, Elizabeth, great to see you both. Um, Kristen Rojas, Johnny Mambodi, great to see you. Ilona Redfern, welcome from London. Ilona, it's gotta be 2 a.m. in the morning. You are a trooper. Um, good for you, Nicole, Carol. And then uh, we have Felix uh, joining us from the islands. Welcome, Felix. <coughs> uh, Patricia and Stephanie Cannon. And also we have Raul who has just joined us and Kayla Darling. Wonderful to see you all. I hope the connection is strong. On my end it says it's a little weak, so I don't know what it looks like on your end, but hopefully it's, it's hanging in there. And welcome Dashan and um, everybody else. So, as I was saying earlier, today is day 8 of the 10 days of the 10 Das. What are the 10 Das? Da means greatest. Dr. and Master Shah is uh, my spiritual teacher and father. I am considered a worldwide representative because of him. Just yesterday I was talking to the lead teacher at uh, the Healing Center. Her name is Master Jimena. And I, I, I looked at some of the newer divine channels and I said to them, I said, you know, it is beyond astounding, truly beyond astounding, the power that Master Shah has transmitted to, to myself and the other divine channels. And she said, what do you mean? Say more. And I said, what amazes me is that I can think about uh, a blessing for somebody without actually offering it. And I hear back from them a day later and they tell me that they're feeling better. Okay, so I'm going to offer a blessing to my cell phone because we have bad connection. Okay, look. Open. 
clearing blockages so that we have uncovered connection. Blessing. <coughs> so hopefully the connection will go in a here. Yeah, we're going to get The divine healing hands, healing for the inner connection, for the wireless, for the uh, to increase the smoothness of this live stream. So hopefully you won't be watching me sitting with the little in a few minutes here. So welcome, Marla. She's also about 2 p.m. in there. Welcome, Dalma. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you, Dalma, for the positive, beautiful comments. Very grateful to serve. Welcome, Marla. Right, uh, we'll have a clean stream in a little, little bit. What are the ten das? For some of those that are a little newer, our master Shah receives all of his information in flow. And in the flow, I have a system to bring to humanity. The, the ten da's are greatest love, greatest forgiveness, greatest compassion, greatest light, greatest humility, greatest harmony. It includes the greatest flourishing, which is what we did yesterday. And today, greatest gratitude. Tomorrow is greatest service. And finally, greatest enlightenment. <clears throat> so I know that it is lagging. I apologize. It's probably because I started in late and the wireless connection is figuring itself out. So hopefully it'll clear up. Thank you for your patience. Let us start by chanting love, peace, and harmony to connect heart to hearts and souls to souls. And we'll go straight into the gratitude, teaching wisdom, and of course the blessings. Okay? Placing your hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear all of our heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, they're all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, All beings of light, serve the man of light. Love you, we honor you, we appreciate you, accept you, and we thank you for your presence today. We ask that you join us. We ask that you clear the blockages so that we can have <coughs> a trouble free live stream today, so that we can align our heart and soul to the greatest gratitude, so that we can align our heart and soul to heaven that we can experience whatever comes into us, into our life, with gratitude. Not just the obvious things, but the things that are not so obvious. <clears throat> we thank you, Heaven, for these blessings. We ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony to please turn on and to stay with all of us online to bless our connection, to bless our communication. We ask <clears throat> this as appropriate. Lula, Lula, Li. 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 Join hearts 
hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. And so I can see that the internet connection is lagging and that is not making for clear communication. Um, in my experience, the best thing to do is to wait out and oftentimes it cleans itself up. If I cancel the connection and start again, then uh, uh, most of you uh, will probably uh, not reconnect and so that's not good either so let us move forward uh, if you have divine healing hands please turn on your divine healing hands offer a blessing to my cell phone to the wireless connection to clear the blockages so that we can have a trouble free live stream thank you thank you thank you all right, all right. so I'm going to connect with it is called Soul Over Matter. It is the newest book by Dr. and Master Shah. And this book uh, has explanations of each of the ten da's on their power and significance to assist us during blockages so that we can have abundance in every aspect of our life. And so today, When I find it, I will talk about the eighth mantra. Here it is. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so thank you for your patience. Thank you for listening even through the difficult connection. Practice eight, Da Gan An. Gan An means gratitude. Da Gan An means greatest gratitude. There are four sacred phrases and key wisdom of Da Gan An. Ba Da Gan An. Dao Sheng Dao Yang Zai Pei Sui, and Dao Un Yong Sun. Ba Da Gan An means the eighth of the ten is greatest gratitude. Dao Sheng D Yang Dao is the ultimate creator. Sheng means create. D is the action or expression of Dao source. Yang means nourish. Dao Sheng D Yang means Dao Source creates everyone and everything, including heaven, Mother Earth, human beings, animals, countless planet stars, galaxies, and universes. And the action of Dao Source nourishes everyone and everything. It is vital wisdom for a human being to realize the honor and the blessings of Tao Source and Tao De. The next line is Zai Pei Si Hu. Zai Pei means to cultivate. Si means to be stow. Hui means wisdom. Zai Pei Si Hui means Tao cultivates and bestows wisdom. I think that's interesting, directly related to um, the greatest gratitude, Dagan Un. Dao Un Yang Sun is the fourth phrase. Dao is source. Un means favor. Yong Sun means always exists. Dao Un Yong Sun means the favors and blessings that Tao bestows always remains in our hearts and souls. Wow, 
that's huge. The, 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 the favors and blessings that thou bestows remain in our hearts and souls. Really beautiful. These four sacred phrases can be summarized as follows. The eight of the ten das, soul of matter practices, is greatest gratitude. Thou source creates, and the, the action and expression of the Tao source nourishes everyone and everything. Tao source cultivates and bestows wisdom and intelligence upon everyone and everything. And the honor, favor, and grace of Tao Source should remain in our hearts and souls forever. Truly, a beautiful series of four lines. Just amazing. So, Master Shah offers the one sense of gratitude to Tao Source, and heaven is essential in order to receive the further blessings. Let's do soul over matter practice for the Dagon Un using the four power techniques. So for body power, we're going to place one hand over our heart center, one hand over our lower abdomen. <coughs> so repeat after me. Dear soul, mind, and body, of myself. Dear soul, mind, and body of all physical team members related to my business and my finances. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You have the power to develop and express more gratitude to the Tao, to Source, to have, as well as to each other. Do a great job. Thank you. Say hello to all the people. Make your feet. Dear Tao Source, dear Heaven, dear Mother Earth, dear all saints in Heaven and Mother Earth, dear Da Gan Un, the greatest gratitude. We cannot express enough our greatest gratitude to all of you for all you have given to me and the whole team related to finances and business. Mind power. Focus on our area, visualizing golden light or rainbow light. Visualizing this in your finances and your business. Sound power. Da Gan Un will be chanted and gratitude okay so at home I will be using this calligraphy card this is dot the wrong one and then it please okay this one I got on grace gratitude <laughs> has a huge 900 in it and so I will ask you for greatest gratitude, especially in the area of finances and business blockages. Dear the countless saints, saints, animals, temples, souls, treasures, blessings, in this 900 frequency, please radiate to all those that are watching this live and those who watch it in the future. Offer the blessings as appropriate to bless them to have more gratitude for every aspect of their life, to bring more flourishing as they become more grateful for all the uh, events and things that happen. Please bless them so that their financial flourishing, business flourishing is better as appropriate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so as I trace, close your eyes, receive the blessings. Da -gan -un, da -gan -un. Dagon Un Dagon Un Greatest Gratitude 
greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, greatest gratitude, Daganun, greatest gratitude, <coughs> Daganun. Greatest gratitude, Daganan. Greatest gratitude, Daganan. Greatest gratitude. Please repeat after me, dear all souls. <coughs> If I or my ancestors have harmed you, especially if we have not offered gratitude for any support that you have done for us physically, anytime you have helped us to heal, anytime you have helped me or my ancestors to feel better, if I or my ancestors have not offered enough gratitude, please forgive me. If I or my ancestors have not offered our gratitude for your emotional support, for your compassion, for your empathy or sympathy, if we have not offered our gratitude when you came to help us to feel better when we were sad or had fear or anxiety or conditions like this, please forgive me and my ancestors. If we have not offered gratitude for times when you have come to us to help us transform negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, ego attachments, by offering the service you have helped us. And if I or my ancestors have not offered gratitude, I deeply and sincerely apologize. Please forgive me. Please forgive my ancestors. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have not been grateful <clears throat> for the financial blessings that we have received, for that penny on the ground, for that bill that suddenly did not have to be paid, for that person that bought us a meal, for that 50 cent raise, I deeply apologize for having a lack of gratitude for all the different ways financial blessings have shown up in my life and I ignored it or complained about it. I sincerely apologize. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have not offered enough gratitude for the success in the business or for the possible lessons that I keep failing to learn. Remember, gratitude is for everything, even when we get uh, difficult conditions. If we have difficult conditions, we are to learn. We must offer gratitude for the opportunity to transform, learn, to offer forgiveness, clear the blockages. Please forgive me for not seeing the lessons that are being offered that I can transform the blockages in my life more rapidly. Dear Heaven, Divine, Tao, and Source, please forgive me for my lack of gratitude to you, to God, to Creator. <clears throat> please forgive me my lack of gratitude to my Heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude for the protection that they have offered me that has kept me alive. The protection that they gave me that kept me from being paralyzed when instead I only received a hurt neck. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude to my parents. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude to my siblings, brothers and sisters, and all those in my life that have taught me 
tremendous and important life lessons. Please forgive me all those in my life that have brought to me beautiful, loving, and healthy healing relationships. All those best friends that have supported us through thick and thin. Please forgive me all those times when I complained, when in fact that person was there to assist me, to support me through whatever I was going through. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude to all of those relationships when I suffered and I failed to learn the lesson that it's possible I caused that same form of suffering to that soul first and therefore I received suffering this time. Please forgive me for not seeing the correlation and using it as an opportunity to transform the relationship so I don't have these experiences ever again. Daganan Greatest gratitude <clears throat> Daganan Greatest gratitude Daganan Greatest gratitude Daganan Greatest gratitude Dear all souls Thank you for your forgiveness Thank you for forgiving me My lack of gratitude Thank you for the financial blessings in all the different ways it shows up. Thank you for the opportunity to clear my gratitude karma. Dagon un greatest gratitude. Dagon un Greatest gratitude. <clears throat> Repeat after me. Dear the souls of my children from this lifetime and all lifetimes, I love you. Please forgive me. My ego, my defensiveness, my self-righteousness, the thinking that I automatically no more than you. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude for your purity, for your wisdom, for your light. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude for your sharing of your concerns, for the sharing of your insights. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude for all that you bring to each moment that has allowed me to grow and be a much better parent. Please forgive me, my dear children, for not honoring you for all that you are, for my lack of gratitude for your incredible power, presence, and beauty and light. Please forgive me, my dear children, in this and all lifetimes, for not hearing the lessons that you have brought to me so that we can clear our karma with each other, so that we can have a beautiful, loving, supportive relationship our whole life. I'm very grateful for all that you have brought to me in this lifetime. Daganan, greatest gratitude. Daganan, greatest gratitude. 
Naganan, greatest gratitude. Naganan, greatest gratitude. I forgive you, please forgive me. My lack of gratitude, please forgive me. Dear God, dear Tao, dear Source, please forgive me my lack of gratitude for this life, for the opportunity to clear my lack of self-love. Please forgive my gratitude to my own soul and to you. Please forgive my lack of gratitude for your incredible life-saving, life-giving energy. You feed me and nourish me every day. You are my creator. I deeply apologize for my lack of daily connection and gratitude to you. Daganan, greatest gratitude. Daganan, my greatest gratitude. Daganan, Greatest gratitude, <clears throat> Daganan, greatest gratitude. Dear the soul of my parents, I love you. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude and honoring of your depth of knowledge and wisdom in this life. Please forgive me my ego and defensiveness, self-righteousness. Please forgive me my lack of respect and gratitude for your heartfelt intention in all that you have ever brought to me. I deeply apologize for not being grateful when you died and left me. This gave me the opportunity to be so much more grateful after you have passed when I truly needed to be more grateful while you were alive. Thank you for your forgiveness. Please forgive me for not honoring you in this life for every action you have ever made, even if it created great irritation with me. In almost every case, I know it was for my best interest. And I apologize for my lack of gratitude when you were trying to do things in my best interest. Daganan, greatest gratitude. Daganan, Greatest gratitude, Daganan, greatest gratitude, Daganan, greatest gratitude. To the soul of my boss, my co workers, my job, my employees, or all of my business clients. I love you. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude. You all assist me with the financial blessings that I receive. Without you, I would suffer financially. I deeply apologize for my lack of gratitude for the job security that I have. I deeply apologize for not appreciating you as a client or complaining about you. 
I deeply apologize to you, my co-workers, especially the ones that have created great strife for me. I now recognize I may have created great resistance and strife for you in previous times, and you have come back to remind me I am grateful for the opportunity to learn from you. Please forgive me in this or any lifetime that I have created the same suffering to you, my boss, or to you, my coworker, that you have brought to me. I deeply apologize. I am grateful for this opportunity to transform our blockages that we can now move forward in love, light, forgiveness, and compassion for each other. Daganan, greatest gratitude. Daganan, greatest gratitude. I forgive you. Please forgive me. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, harmony. Dear my own soul, I love you. Please forgive me my lack of gratitude for not connecting with you and receiving your guidance. You have taught me again and again and probably have saved my life and brought me many blessings that I have not offered my greatest gratitude to you for. I deeply apologize to you, my beloved soul. Thank you so much for all that you do for me and our soul journey. Daganan, greatest gratitude. <clears throat> Daganan, greatest gratitude. Dear all souls that I have been in relationships with, loving husband, wife, uh, lover, boyfriend, girlfriend, relationships in this and all lifetimes. I am so grateful for the opportunity for our time together. Please forgive me for any suffering I have brought to you in this or any lifetime, and I forgive you for any suffering you have brought to me. I now recognize that each relationship served a purpose. And I apologize for having gratitude for not recognizing the purpose of our relationship. I wish to have a clean, loving, gratitude-filled life moving forward. So I ask for your unconditional forgiveness if in any lifetime I have brought the same beautiful but unpleasant suffering to you that you have brought to me. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness, and I ask for yours. I ask the soul of the greatest gratitude to transform any negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, self-righteousness, and attachments that I have held on to about being the right one in a relationship, about being the victim in a relationship. I ask the greatest gratitude to bless me, to open my heart and soul, to see the wisdom of each relationship, to offer unconditional forgiveness, and to receive their unconditional forgiveness if I have harmed them. Daganan, greatest gratitude. Naganan, greatest gratitude. I forgive you. Please 
forgive me. We forgive each other. Bring love, peace, harmony. Bring love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the soul of the greatest gratitude that has come to us today to offer these insights through this natural flow. <clears throat> I will now offer a soul reading as to the power and significance of this practice here today. How this is the divine. It is with the greatest honor that I send you my love. Gratitude is alignment with my love and with the love that literally is in all life. You have heard that soul is message, that soul is carrier of message. Love is original message. Gratitude is recognition of love in all of the ways that it comes to us. During this mantra, Master Paul spoke in flow and he offered examples of how life experiences have come to you. Did you see the unpleasant ones with gratitude? It is unlikely at that time that you did. Love is the deliverer of all messages. It is my greatest love to you to assist you to see where karma has been created between you and another. And in gratitude of that experience, be it judged as negative or otherwise, that moment is when the blockage can be melted. Gratitude is the elixir by which love can heal the blockages. We think that gratitude is only where it is obvious, but the true message is to apply it in every aspect that shows up in your life. This book, Soul Over Matter, was given in flow to the one you call Master Shah. The messages in this book were tailored to bring flourishing to your finances and business. The Tinda delivery of information was given not so that you could be wealthy but so that you could align your heart and soul with my heart and soul so that you could align and clear all aspects that are separating you from the original oneness that we all are. Greatest gratitude serves as a lighthouse 
beacon that clearly elucidates areas that we could offer more towards when it is seen with the divine's light. Pay attention to the way in which the mantra chanting was done today. Pay attention to the opportunities to convert the negativities into a positive. It is when you fill all of those with gratitude that huge financial and flourishing of all aspects of life will occur effortlessly. I am honored to offer you this message today on the significance of the greatest gratitude. This is your beloved divine. I will bow my head nine times to the divine. You may do whatever is comfortable for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that poignant message divine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So all of you have been troopers uh, through the weak connection, through the um, cutting on and off, the choppiness. You stuck with it and you are rewarded. You receive huge blessings and you receive a beautiful message from the divine. And this is some of the root of Dr. and Master Shah's teachings. You know, <clears throat> he's all about teaching us how to reach enlightenment. Enlightenment is clearing the blockages that separate us from alignment with oneness. The ten das all serve to accomplish that. <clears throat> there are so many ways in which we can clear our blockages. Forgiveness, love for others, service, tracing the calligraphies, watching uh, live streams like this. All of these are chipping away at the blockages. Divine services chip away much faster. So remember that I am offering the blessings for the Crown Chakra blessing for each of the ten das. And also yesterday, there were seven people that signed up for the uh, flourishing blessings. So I'll remind you of what those are. There are two very special calligraphies that Master Shah has put in um, a very special calligraphy book. It's the only place these two calligraphies are. One is called Dao Tzu Ying Fu, which is Dao, store, Dao Source bestows huge prosperity, luck, and success. The other one is Dao Ye Chang Sheng, which translates to Dao Career Flourishes. I will trace both of these for uh, these 10 people. Currently we have 7 signed up, we need to have 10. And um, I will trace these for the next 3 days. Well, when I start it. Uh, it will be, it'll probably start Monday since this weekend I have a very crazy weekend by moving my physical location. So um, it will start on Monday, assuming we reach the goal of 10. So I encourage <clears throat> at least 3 more people to take advantage of this tremendous opportunity to receive these uh, um, huge prosperity, luck, success uh, blessings. The, the honor fee is $25 per day, so the total is $75. And, you know, when I checked with heaven, <laughs> you'll definitely receive more blessings than that. So um, we just need three more people. And you can, you can contact me by uh, email or through Facebook Messenger. My email is A S O U L. H E A L E R, a soul healer. Pretty simple. I'm a soul healer. A soul healer at yahoo.com. And so you can contact me either way. And once we reach 10, I'm going to send an email to everybody with the link for registration. And then I will initiate the blessings on Mondays. Um, <clears throat> so let me see if there's any uh, additional information at this time. I know I started a little bit late. Again, I want to honor all of you for, for your um, uh, uh, patience and staying with me on this. How? This is the soul of the greatest gratitude, calligraphy, and the blessings that came through the countless saints 
in this calligraphy. Each of you received tremendous blessings specific to blockages in your message center. There are teams in heaven that are specifically developed to clear the negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, huge ego blockages, and more that keep those from aligning to this greatest Da of Da Ganan, greatest gratitude. When I was created as a portal through which heaven could come, my calligraphy lit up. There were literally lines of saints, heavens, animals, dragons. There were lines of scholars with books that came into my calligraphy. They all bowed down to the Creator for the greatest opportunity of all lifetimes to serve you. Truly, without the benevolence of the one you refer to as Master Shah, to assign us to come to this calligraphy to serve you, we would still be chipping away to earn virtue little by little. By the very nature of our assignment to serve through this calligraphy, we have come and have been able to serve all of you. There will be at least 75% that will notice something within the next 48 hours in which greater flourishing will come. There will be recognition of you for what you have done for others. Pay attention. There are some that will have an instant challenge in their life. This will be a heaven's test. Are you grateful? for whatever that challenge is. Do you recognize that karma brought you that challenge? Do you ask for forgiveness and offer forgiveness and then chant greatest gratitude, da I, or love, peace, and harmony to smooth out the blockage quickly? You will discover that gratitude could transform what could be a multi-week blockage to a one-day solution. For those that receive this Heaven's Test, you are the most lucky because you have the greatest opportunity to clear lifetimes of blockages in a short period of time. Virtue has been deposited to each one of your virtue banks to assist you to have more gratitude in your life to open your heart to gratitude for all souls and to pass your spiritual testing when it comes. You are all very blessed on this day. This is the soul of the greatest gratitude Da Gan Un calligraphy. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you all so much. I have about five minutes left. You can do sharing. I'm happy to, uh, to read those. Again, the sharing is not for me. It's for everybody else that watches this later. <clears throat> Within, uh, I think, about six hours, the video where only 33 are watching now was at 300. That means that all of your sharings were...